Hi, my name is Wes, my amateur radio call sign, W3KW. I have my vintage Drake uh, receiver and transmitter in front of me here, and I tried to put it on the air today and realized that the uh, Drake 2C receiver, which is right here, uh, though fully restored, they're all fully restored and absolutely just gorgeous, but the receiver is not working for some reason. I haven't used it in about a year, so uh, I need to dig into it and find out what's going on there. This is the uh, Drake 2 NT transmitter. It's Morse code only, and it uh, has a nice feature that automatically uh, sends a mute signal during transmit to the receiver. In some systems uh, where separate transmitters and receivers are used, a Dow key relay such as this would be used so that one antenna uh, can be uh, used for both transmit and receive. But the uh, receiver needs to be disconnected from the antenna during transmit to protect, to protect the uh, front end of the receiver. Uh, and uh, conveniently, uh, Drake built that system right into uh, this set. This is the uh, Drake MN4 uh, antenna tuner, which doesn't really tune the antenna, but it helps present um, the ideal load or ideal as possible load to the uh, transmitter so that the transmitter can work as efficiently as possible. So I'm going to take the uh, clean this area up and uh, take the lid off and I'll show you inside. Um, if we look at the manual here, um, it says uh, that... All measurements are made with an 11 mega ohm uh, vacuum tube voltmeter and that a signal um, generator is used to uh, get negative 3 volts on the AGC automatic gate control voltage line when these measurements are made at these various test points. And so I have a beautifully restored um, HP uh, 410B vacuum tube voltmeter for that very purpose but the manual also says that all values of signals uh, voltages resistance measurements and test point voltages are nominal and may vary widely without uh, degrading performance so for that reason I may use my Simpson 260 meter this is a classic meter and though the um, uh, it's not an 11 mega ohm uh, input, it's close enough and it'll get me uh, voltages uh, uh, that are very close to where they need to be. I'm also fortunate to have uh, test equipment like a high-end signal generator. More soon.